Next up, we have a four person B rank free for all on the map D's E Ray by uh, ASL Ladder Mapper Freakling from Germany. Let's get right down to it. Okay, who we got in here? The grape color. I guess this is his debut. Z A S Z Zazzy. We have L M L. Top left, thank you. Top right, we have Om. Thank Taren. And on the bottom right, we have Groglog. This is a free for all on this four player map called Dee's E Ray. We call it the Spore Maps because there's two spores at the entrance to help Zerg walk off, I guess, because they spread creep. Professional free for all player. Pretty yeah, this cool. is his debut, I guess, in a free for all. <laughs> some players hate Already it, some won. players love it. So these two spores, I think, do help spread creep into this area. That's why they're there. They're neutral buildings. If you destroy them, I don't think you can build anything underneath them. Is that for game balance reasons, I'm guessing? Yeah, because otherwise it would take a long time for the creep to spread from the main to the entrance. But, um, I don't think Zurich has to, you know, block off here with Sunkins or buildings. They can kind of sim city in their main. Alright, so what's the free-for-all strategy here? Alm is taking this pocket expansion. Roblox is taking his. We're trying to, and LML blocked it. Protoss was able to take his pocket expansion. Is this link tight? Hope so. of Zerglings being made by Zazzy. We will be featuring this map called DZ Ray by Freakling in our big tournament coming up. Early February we should be streaming the games. Did you get everything set up for that on a... Uh, with a lot of your help, I think we've made some progress there. We do have the $3,000 minimum prize pool set up. Oh no. Oof, that, that Zerg rush. That caught him off guard. Yeah, I don't know. I guess they're just not going to take advantage of that creep spread there, but it's there. Not looking good for Protoss here. Yeah, they, they, they seem to get attacked and attacked, and they, they just don't have anything built up enough yet. 
Well, Terran is just taking the time to build up. Wow, two players have been harassed so far. Got a layer up. Oh, this is unfortunate. It's definitely interesting to to see the supply difference between the different players. I mean, you have 36, 36, all the way down to 18, 27. Kong oh, has just been living it up. The rest free. The Zergs are supposed to have a lower supply. But, yes, this is madness. They're getting caught off guard. I mean, unfortunate for Groglog, he's... His expansion got blocked. A little harass here. Spire. Oh, look at all. So this expansion should be accessible. I believe these are just blinders. Wonderful aesthetic details on this map. Protoss is going to try to take Nano Block. Greedy bastard. Here comes the Corsair to harass the Overlords, hopefully. This? Or it looks like it's just doing some scouting. Oh, I found one. There it is. There's one tucked away in Protoss' base. I'm sure you'll find it. That's all I'm doing. Scanning. Let's see what's going on. Picking off an overlord here, so this expansion should be good. Because this is not optimal mining. Green has taken, what, three bases so far? Yes. Besides his pocket expansion. So I wonder if this DT is going to be able to get in. It looks like... Sassy. Such a hard name for me to pronounce for some reason. Just trying to figure out how this map works. And yeah, the DT got in, and... There goes Alm's third. Oh, this is not looking good. Oof. Can you defend this? Yeah, let's... Turn the Zergs. 18 to 13 drones. Supplies 22 to 27. They both sent each other to the Stone Age, it seems like. I feel like that DT is just camping out there just in case someone tries to take the base, but I'd like to see Protoss take it over and make it theirs. Yeah, I'm not sure what it's doing. It could destroy that refinery. Ah, uh, that might be lots. Oh, sharing information. <laughs> it's not wrong.
This is a heavy investment from Protoss, but it's theirs. If... Still have paid off well. Yeah, yeah I guess the two. One. Oh my god. Now that's a heavy investment. I haven't seen one of those in a while. That's awesome. Oh my god. Oh, you beautiful bastard. I wonder if he's gonna get one of them off. I like how they're still figuring out. Two purple zergs going at each other. Oh my god. The jokes. No. Oh, that, that was such a waste, like... Where? I would have expected him to target the mineral fields. Where, damn it? Where is the nuke? Oh my god. I caught it just in time, thank god. That was so wonderful. That was, that was pretty devastating over there. We almost missed it and I was just about to pause the replay. That's how important it is to me. Did you nuke? That was awesome. Trying to do another one. Oh, he lost his ghost. He does have one ready. The beautiful dropship. Slides by unnoticed. Alright, so one of the Zerix has been eliminated. Basically got his whole base nuked. Oh, this is unfortunate. Now, I was so surprised he, he got through unnoticed. There he goes. Nuclear launch detected. Is there no overlord? Has no overlord here. <laughs> he, he just backed out from that? Wow. Alm just eliminated two players pretty much. Yeah, I don't know if Protoss has anything to stop this. I feel like part of that is because they just left uh, Teal alone for so long, he had time to build up a solid army. Right. And this is without his third. Or I guess this was his third. Now we can go. I'm building more nukes. I'm trying to think Dark Archons, what they would be useful for against this army. Nothing's coming to mind. I would still want to see at least one science vessel, just in case. Where? Where's the nuke? I have no idea, man. We missed it. Oh, it's somewhere down there? Here comes the Dark Archon and messes things up a bit. Oh, with some friendly fire. I mean, when you got tanks stationed like this, the best thing you can do is nuke. Because <laughs> it's going to be well defended. 
Nuclear launch detected. Does LML see it? He doesn't see it. It's too late. Oh my god, he's running right into it. Oh my god. There's a decent chunk of people out. I'm surprised all these units didn't die. I guess that's good. I'm surprised he hasn't pushed in just, just to follow up with that, that nuke. I mean, the success rate of his nukes, it's pretty impressive. Usually they get scouted, you know, and they die. Or you move your units and you know where the nuke is. Doesn't look like we'll see any more nukes. A lot of Zelots back there. I think he can break. If they absorb a lot of the damage from these mines, it wouldn't be a bad trade-off for Terran. Terran. It looks like Terran has still expanded up top at the 12 o'clock position. Oh my god, there's a ghost. Alm oh. oh, finally recovered his original third expansion. Did he just mind control that science vessel? Sure looks like it. Oh my god, he did. That was a beautiful catch. Finally, mind control using a show match. So that's what you can do for Dark Archons. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. Although I still feel like that was like it was a good play, but not not the best use of a of a mind control. You want an SCV to be mind controlled. And then... It's the best unit to mind control. You'd have to put down a command center before you can put down a barracks and all that other good stuff. But I guess once you put a command center down, you get more SCVs and you can build more stuff. That's one of the things that made Protoss so endearing to me, was wonderful spells. All right, well, boss is nine o'clock expansion. He's got one nuke. It's a supply. 178 for Prot Terran. It's 146 for Here comes another ghost, so hopefully we'll, we'll see another nuke soon. Oh my god, he killed the ghost. I guess that's with the spell feedback. Another useful spell, Dark Archons. I don't know how we feel about that. I'm happy for Protoss, but I would have liked to see another nuke. Now I'm gonna counter. Going all off guard. But I still feel I feel like the main attack is strong enough to hold out. Yeah, I think you're right. 
I'm glad they're both having fun. Cause that's what free for all is all about. All those spider mines inside the base so that they they can't take it back it's a decent land grab up there yeah they're giving him some trouble aren't they still got one nuke I mean, Alm looks like it's pretty good right now. This has to be, be pretty devastating to uh, Tan because their their main main base is just gone. I mean, like even having that one one dark Templar, it's just not enough to pull off the attack. Yeah, there's going to be more reinforcements coming. He's only got a few gateways. Not that many minerals. His probes are just all idle over here. Oh, he's going to try to transfer his probes at the worst possible time. Nuclear launch right oh, into uh, a minefield. Where is it? There it is. Spot on. I love it. <laughs> we, we barely get to see that. At least I do. Now for the massacre of probes. There's no way Protoss is I would have just canceled that um, uh, starport there. Just adding science vessels. Sorry. As much as he he's doing harassment at, at that uh, southern expansion, I just don't feel like it's going to be enough because he's lost so much tech. Yeah, he's got no buildings to make units out of it. One wonders why he's still in the free for all. Here comes another one. Um, Maybe that's where it was. I didn't think he nuked here because there was really nothing to destroy. No, there's another one coming up. Another nuke. 
And I killed the ghost. I, I, I feel like he just did that for funsies. Because it's already over. Well, Protoss has been a good sport about it, I guess. Belonging this free for all match. So he should be leaving anytime soon, and we will have our infested show match after this. There you have it. 